Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, November 21st, 2019. All right, so today another simple day in the astrology. It's been quite the simple week other than Mercury going direct yesterday. So today that is the major theme is that the energies regarding the routines and the things we've been thinking about over the past few weeks during Mercury retrograde are now in their forward moving momentum. So good to slowly build some momentum. It's still early, but good to maybe start to implement some of these ideas we've been thinking about. And again, maybe things we've been reworking starting to move forward. So with this, we do have the moon shifting from Leo into Virgo today. The first half could be really good for self-expression cultivating our creative and playful side, which was the energy the past couple days. Um, and then going into the later part, really good for improvements, refinements, and focusing on things that do require that self-discipline of Virgo. Other than that, we have some minor lunar aspects. We are in the third quarter phase of the cycle, uh, which makes it all in all really good for challenging ourselves uh, to implement some things, particularly from the last full moon about a week and a half ago. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so uh, the moon in Leo, the first part of the day, as was the case the past two, three days. Um, so the theme has been around cultivating our self-expression, maybe our fun-loving side, playful, creative, uh, this kind of fire energy has been really good to develop and still is this early part of the day. But as the day unfolds, we start to get into some more earth energy with Virgo, making it really good for things that require self-discipline. And we've had a lot of energy here from the previous months. The last two lunar cycles were here in Virgo. So um, in this case, maybe continuing to develop or even finalizing over these next few days, um, anything that is again about doing the work, improvement, refinement, or things of that self-discipline nature. So the larger context is still that around balance. We do have the sun and now Mercury direct in Libra. And so the greater context around finding harmony, maybe in relationships, mutuality, give and take, maybe now with Mercury direct starting to implement some stuff that was reworked regarding maybe agreements or uh, relationship type stuff. And just all in all, bringing things back into balance, right? Now with Mercury Direct, what can be implemented in regards to bringing things uh, back into balance in our life? Now we do have Venus and Jupiter getting very close to each other. They'll be conjoining here uh, next week, I believe. And so this is going to be right along the galactic center. This is a very transformative part of the sky. In this case, Jupiter over the recent months has been helping us become very aware of things that can be healed or transformed. And maybe in a sense, our belief systems and our perspectives, maybe our philosophical side or our adventurous side has gone through a bit of a transformation uh, recently with Jupiter over the galactic center. But now Venus is getting very close. And as she passes over going into the weekend, uh, it is going to be really good for transformation in our relationships and with our values. So really good to be non-attached to these uh, values of ours, to our relationship stuff as well. And in this way, it allows for this transformation process and what could even be a healing process that could be very strong even today at the moment. All right, so with this, and of course, Mars is still in Virgo. So adding to the Earth energy, still great to be taking action in such a way that is improvement oriented, refinement, uh, focusing on the details, all of that uh, nitty gritty energy of Virgo. All right, so that's definitely the most important stuff today is Mercury going station direct, now going through the constellation Libra once again. Uh, we do have some minor lunar aspects. The moon will be trining that Saturn-Pluto conjunction that we have going exact early next year, which by the way, I will be making yearly videos on here quite soon, uh, maybe in the next couple weeks uh, about that. But anyways, uh, this trine could be giving us maybe a bit of um, groundedness here for the day maybe feeling a bit responsible with Saturn, maybe a bit empowered with Pluto on a minor note. And then the later part with that detailed Virgo energy theme, uh, there could be some uh, extra attention maybe on some of that relationship stuff, 
and um, maybe some of that healing stuff with the moon squaring up to that Venus Jupiter uh, conjunction that we have there. So just some extra attention there on our values on relating and maybe in terms of bringing some balance in regards to any potentials or inspirations or lack thereof we may see that then can be implemented in constructive ways, knowing that there are opportunities and there are inspirations. Um, if there is a lack of that or if there's too much, just being conscious of it can help ground it. All right, but nothing major with those uh, lunar aspects. Again, the most important thing is now slowly implementing some things that uh, over the past few weeks, maybe have been up in the air, maybe we've been thinking about implementing um, or have been reworking in that sense. And the theme of the day, the first half, still good for that playful energy of Leo. And the second half, really good for that detail-oriented energy of Virgo. All right, so everyone, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the weekend forecast. Take care.